Hello, hope you're all well. So, the agent decided this week that we're going to do an open house, just out the blue like that. And that's going to be next weekend on, oh my God, I don't even know what date that's going to be now. Uh, 20th, I believe. <sighs> so now I've got to get everything hidden again and give everything a really good clean. And I've started on the spare room. Now, you have to excuse my washing that's dry, and it is iron. But this was the original room that we were in. And so, like, we've only got one cupboard left. And, right, I've removed everything from under the bed. Well, that you can see as you walk in. So, like, as you walk in, that's it. Now, there is something under the bed. My ironing thing is underneath there, because it wouldn't fit in the wardrobe. And then in the wardrobe, I got rid of all the boxes. Well, I tried to, but I just shoved stuff in here, out of the way, like my cases and stuff. But that's one room done. Yes, obviously my washing will be put away then. <sighs> but it's an exhausting week because I'm also busy with work. So we have our boot camp, summer boot camp start uh, this weekend, so. I'm busy with that. So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tackle this room. Well, I'm going to get to it. Now, I've been getting all my stuff ready for Australia. Now, I know it's six weeks away yet, but, like, I've got my bag there, a soft bag so that I can keep it in the van. And I was sorting through what clothes I might want to take. But now I'm going to have to hide all this, which is a pain in the neck. Get rid of this box. And clear this wardrobe out a bit and move the stuff down to the garage. Just so it, oh, just so that it looks appealing for people, you know, and they that they want to come and live here, and no one wants to see boxes all over, I guess. So I'm gonna have to uh, maybe just bag this up and put it in the bag for Australia, and I can sort it out properly later. This is the problem when you've got things like this going on. You're trying to arrange stuff, and every five minutes you've got to rearrange everything to hide it all again. So you always end up doing, I mean, we've had this before, we've cleared a cupboard and then we've had a view in, so we've had to shove everything back in the cupboard out of the way. Oh, yeah, I take two steps forward, four steps back sometimes. So they called me in the week and said, oh, let's do an open house. So I was like, Really? After all this time, now you're going to do an open house? Oh, they tried to. I th like they even said, oh, let's do another one. I said, we never even did the first one because you never got your asses into gear. Oh, excuse my language. Um, oh, anyhow, so I said, but you have to like put it up as it's just come back on the market. Don't go and say, oh, oh you know, because people are going to notice. And it's been so quiet the last couple of weeks. Honestly, I haven't had a single viewing since the house felt completely collapsed. <sighs> but I also said to them, right, let's get some new pictures because the garden looks different. The house looks completely different now. It's decluttered. It looks nothing like it does in the photos. So let's have some photos done. Um, this was on Monday. Oh, yeah, we'll get the, photograph, the photographs done. We'll get the guy round. Not heard from them. And can I please have the for sale sign up the front? Because that will help. That's still not there. Oh, honestly, they'll be the death of me. Um, but as, you know, like my son said, I need to concentrate on Australia and not, not let them stress me. And the thought of having to go and find another estate agent at this point, especially when I'm so busy, um, it's just, oh, it's just soul destroying, it really is. Um, and I also officially leave working in the gym at the end of this month well officially so um, I'll still be doing the paperwork and stuff but um, I won't be physically running the gym thank goodness for that um, but the person that was going to be manager resigned this week <sighs> it never rains does it but we do have somebody else in mind so it does mean that I'm going to have to spend a couple of weeks before I go to Australia training them up but this is what it is um, you can't, you can manage people as best as you can, but they've decided they want to go into landscaping or something, so anyway, no hard feelings, just 
Oh, but bet we did it now than when I was in Australia. As my other, my son that owns it with me would have been in right trouble. Anyway, so that's where we are this week. And um, so I also saw a couple of adverts. I don't know about this though, but I, I thought I might look into it. If anybody else knows about this, um, you know, I, I'd really appreciate some input. So I've seen a couple of places that. Um, so a little bit more than man so if you rented it and you have a management company you still have all the hassle with it but these people basically take on all responsibility for your home and they rent it out either airbnb or long-term guarantee your rent and they take on all responsibility for fixing things and all of that now does anyone else have experience with them because i'm going to assume that the rent you get even though it's guaranteed is going to be less than you would on the market because you know, they're taking on the responsibility of, like, the, the, you know, fixing things and getting everything ready and furnishing it and everything. I, you know, you, you kind of expect that. But I'd be really interested to know if anybody else has experience with this because, like I said before, right, if I invest the money, I get a certain amount back. But to keep up with inflation, I wanted to put some of that back into the pot and use some... For, to support my spending but you know if that's an option then it doesn't matter that the rent is less because I have the value of the house which will hopefully keep up with inflation so if I then sold it in five years or to have the option to come home if I if I really hate traveling somehow I don't think I will but you never know what's going to happen do you? you never know if you get ill or something anyway I would really appreciate some thoughts on that. So for the next week, I'm going to be cleaning the house like crazy, <laughs> hiding boxes in the garage. I have made a lot more space in the garage because I've been, a lot of the boxes in there were like old files that you have to keep for so long. So I've been going through them, throwing out those that we don't need to keep anymore, reboxing them and then taking them up to the gym to store. <laughs> so just try and make some room in the garage and I also gave a load of clothes away to charity this week I saw the guy coming with the envelopes and I just asked him for a couple and he was very happy to oblige and so uh yeah I know I'm getting there and I know like I'm nearly done if I had to really push I could be out of here in a week uh, my other son um is hoping his house sale go house purchase he's purchasing goes through in the next couple of weeks so he'll then come and collect most of the furniture well definitely all the beds and uh, the garden furniture and all his boxes honestly he's got more boxes than I have and I did this week also pack up all my Sonus systems so I had one of those Sonus speaker system but when I changed the wi-fi over it was fine until I unplugged the speaker and then it all went kaput and I couldn't be bothered really to set it all up again so I dismantled all that and packed that up uh, got rid of all the speakers around the house it does mean he has more boxes than me now in the carriage I don't know if that's a good or a bad sign probably a good sign it means I've really decluttered anyhow oh so tired but I better get on with this cleaning let's hide the Australia packing get rid of these boxes that'll be another room done catch you all soon Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, I might have a nap now. No time for napping.